What's up everybody, this is JT Sports and back to you guys with another video. This video I'm here with my Detroit Lions versus the Minnesota Vikings NFL Week 7 preview and prediction. I'm going to be previewing this matchup and giving my prediction for who will win this game. Now before I begin, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel below NFL videos and college football videos daily. So this is a big game. This is an NFC North matchup. Both of these teams looking to get good footing in this division and try to end up dethroning the Packers who right now in my opinion are the best team in this division and the Detroit Lions are coming off a very disappointed loss versus the Green Bay Packers a loss that a lot of people argue that Detroit should have won because the referees played a big part in allowing the Green Bay Packers to win that game but at the end of the day that's last week you have to move on and you have to look forward to this matchup that you have ahead of you in this Minnesota Vikings game. Now, this is a very big game, and if you're the Detroit Lions, you can't you can't go into this game feeling sorry about yourself. You gotta be like, hey, it's a loss. Maybe we should have won that game. Referees played a big part of the Lions losing that game, but hey, it is what it is. That's last week. We gotta move on to week seven because you can't hold your head down on that Green Bay Packers loss because how close this division is, if you're the Detroit Lions, if you lose this game, you end up going two, three, and one and you end up falling behind in the divisional race and this is a very tough division I think only one team maybe one or two teams ends up making the playoffs out of this division because this probably might be the most competitive division in all the football you got Chicago you got Detroit you got Minnesota and you got Green Bay and I told a lot of people going into this game well going into the season that all four of these teams can end up winning, winning the division. So if you're Detroit Lions, you got to get over that loss. You have a disappointing. You have the rest screws you over. But hey, you got to look at this matchup that you have ahead of you. And this is a Minnesota Vikings team that is right now is starting to look very. It's starting to look very bounced. They're now clicking on all cylinders. Early on in the season, they struggled throwing the football. They just relied on Dalvin Cook heavily. Now last week we saw Kirk Cousins actually woke up out of his sleep and he was now able to look like a NFL caliber quarterback. Or quarterback that deserves to be getting paid 88 million dollars and guaranteed money and he showed up last week versus the Philadelphia Eagles which wasn't really it really shouldn't have been a surprise to anybody because the Philadelphia Eagles secondary is bruised battered and beaten down and they are the emergency room of the NFL which is the Philadelphia Eagles I mean they have so many players out injured so you expect that out of a guy like Kirk Cousins going against a bruised and battered secondary and for the Detroit Lions I mean a lot of people look Detroit is a very competitive team. A lot of people keep on writing off Detroit and things like that. Let's look at it. Look, Detroit should have won that game, but they didn't. Hey, this Detroit Lions team is still a very talented team, and this isn't a team that Minnesota Vikings should overlook. It was actually a Minnesota Vikings player that said that this was going to be an easy win for the Vikings, and I think that was Laquan... Treadwell, who said that of all people who is one of the biggest busts playing in the NFL right now, that's what I believe it was. That's what somebody told me who said it. That's what somebody told me who the player was who made that comment was Laquan Treadwell. I can't really confirm that, but that's what the Vikings fan had told me. So, I mean, if you're the Minnesota Vikings, if you think that this Detroit game is going to be a cakewalk, then you have something else coming for you because this is a very good Detroit Lions team. They're very physical up front, and Matthew Stafford has been playing very good this year. So if the Minnesota Vikings, if you Minnesota Vikings fans think this is just going to be an easy victory and that this is just going to be a cakewalk, do you have another thing coming for you? Because this is a very competitive Detroit team. This is the same Detroit team that almost beat Kansas City. They nearly could have beaten Green Bay. This is a very good Detroit Lions team and this isn't a team that you Minnesota Vikings fans that the Minnesota Vikings players should be taking likely like guys like Laquan Treadwell who's looking at this game as an easy victory and this is on the road at Detroit now what Detroit some of the problems I've had with Detroit is that Detroit and all the games I watched Detroit play Arizona Philadelphia the Chargers and last week versus the Packers is that they have failed to play a complete football game for all four quarters and that's been my biggest Biggest pet peeve with the Detroit Lions. They always let teams climb back into these games late in the second quarter. In the second quarter, they're what? They're one of the 
they're pretty much middle of the pack when it comes to the second half point scoring. They're 19th in the NFL in second half point scoring on offense. They're only scoring nine points in the second half of the game. And if you're Detroit, if you want to be a playoff caliber team, then you're going to have to be able to score more, more than nine points if you want to be a playoff caliber team. You have to be able to close teams out. And Detroit can't really close teams out like that without letting teams get back into the game. And that's what we saw in their loss versus the Green Bay Packers. They were not able to close teams out. Now, the Minnesota Vikings, the thing with them is that they have a very good defense but the question is is Kirk Cousins going to be able to keep up the consistent play now last week he had a very good game but that was because he was playing against a beat and bruised down secondary with the Philadelphia Eagles who basically have guys have backups and practice squad guys playing and getting time in at those um, cornerback positions and at those secondary spots so if you're the Minnesota Vikings this is going to be a harder task for Kirk Cousins trying to replicate the performance that he had last week versus the Philadelphia Eagles and his Detroit line is second there that has played very very well for most of the season so far so looking at my keys to victory what each of these teams needs to do and able to have a chance to win this game for the Detroit Lions their defense has to get off the field on third downs they're 30th in the NFL and third down conversions allowed they're allowing teams to get nearly almost every single one of their third down conversions and on average, they allow teams to get six third down conversions per game. So that's not good if you're the Detroit Lions. And coming from a guy with a defensive background, Matt Patricia, he knows that you have to be able to get off the field on third downs. That is a big thing that has been killing the Detroit Lions, especially late in the second half of games. If you're in the second half of a game and a team is trying to get back into it, the last thing you want to allow that team to be able to do is convert on third downs. So the Detroit Lions defense has to get better when it comes to the third down defense. Next up, their offense has to play better in the second half. Like I said earlier, the Detroit Lions are 19th in the NFL in second half scoring. They're only scoring nine points per game in the second half. And the Minnesota Vikings have one of the best second half defenses in the NFL. They only allow six points per game in the second half of games, which is third in the NFL. So here the Detroit Lions, I don't know what it is with their second half play calling, but I mean their second half play calling is going to have to get a lot better. And they also need to get a lot better running the football because look, you can't you can't really close teams out in the second half where you need to control time possession. You need to chew out the clock if you can't run the football. And that's something that I noticed with Detroit. They're not really good at running the football late in game. And Detroit needs to get a lot better when it comes to run blocking as well. Because I got Carryon Johnson on my fantasy team, and I've seen firsthand that Carryon Johnson. Um, the run, the pass blocking is good for the Detroit Lions, but the run blocking is. And so the run blocking needs to be a little bit more better for the Detroit Lions to have a little bit more success running the football. And if Detroit wants to be able to close some of these teams out in the second half, then they're going to have to be able to run the football. Now, what Minnesota needs to be able to do and able to win this game is they need to limit the big pass play. So Detroit is seventh in the NFL in yards per pass attempt. Detroit is averaging 7.6 yards every time they throw the football, which is one which is top 10 in the NFL. So what the Minnesota Vikings need to be able to do is these cornerbacks are Xavier Rhodes, whoever they have playing at those cornerback spots, they have to be able to shut down um, Kenny Galladay, and you got to be able to shut down Marvin Jones. And it's pretty much pick your poison because both of these guys have been very good this year. I actually think that both of these wide receivers have a good chance of both making it to the Pro Bowl with the performances that they have put up so far this season. So if you're the Minnesota Vikings, this secondary has to play lights out, and they need to be able to keep everything in front of them and limit these big passing plays that Detroit is averaging. They're averaging 7.6 yards per pass play. That's nearly almost eight yards every time Detroit throws the football. Next up, Minnesota needs to force turnover. So the Detroit Lions are fourth in the NFL and turnover margin. They're, they don't allow, they don't give the ball up a lot that much. So if you're in the Minnesota Vikings, a key to winning the football game is you're going to have to be able to get some turnovers and you're going to have to force Detroit to turn the ball over because Detroit doesn't really turn the ball over a lot. Like I just mentioned, they are fourth in the NFL in turnover margin, so they're not really turning the ball over that much. And that's a good thing if you're a Detroit Lions fan. So if you're the Minnesota Vikings, you're going to have to force some turnovers and get the ball back into your offense hands by giving the offense some extra possessions. And the last thing is that the Minnesota Vikings had to be able to convert. Well, they had to be able to convert on third down. The Lions are 30th and third down defense so they're allowing a lot of teams to convert on third down and the Minnesota Vikings they don't really have that good of a third down offense the Minnesota Vikings are 22nd in the NFL and third down offense 
So if you're the Minnesota Vikings, you're going to have to be able to convert on third down if you want to win this game. And they should be able to because the Detroit Lions defense has not really been that good on third downs. They haven't really been able to get teams off the field when it comes to getting in third down conversion. So if you're the Minnesota Vikings, you got to be able to do that. You're going to have to be able to convert on third downs if you want to be able to win this game. So the team that I'm going with to win this game... I'm going to go with the Detroit Lions to win this game. So the Detroit Lions are on a little bit of a losing streak. They lost to Kansas City. They lost to Green Bay. And they and all those games have been fairly tight games. They haven't really got blown out by anybody. So this Detroit team, I think, is a very talented team. And I think since they're at home, they end up getting the win here versus the Minnesota Vikings. I think Minnesota's a very good team as well. But I just think that... Detroit is going to be able to pull off this victory because they have the home field advantage. And I think they're going to come out looking for some redemption versus that Green Bay Packers game. And they're going to come out and they're going to get a very good victory here versus a very good Minnesota Vikings team. So I have the Detroit Lions win this game. I think this game ends up going in Detroit's favor. 24 to 20 is my final score prediction for this game. So let me know who you guys think is going to end up winning this game down in the comment section down below. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel for more NFL videos and college football videos daily. And thanks for watching.